a voice of destiny. The fire is not to destroy. An oracle raised by God. It yes. is a setup for a lift up. Reverend Lucy Natasha. We are about to go where we have never gone before. I am moving into my destiny. The oracle of God. You are asking who is the fourth man. He is about to appear in your struggle. He is about to appear in your fire. In Matthew he is the Messiah. In Mark he is the servant miracle worker. In Luke, he's the son of man. An oracle raised by God to impact generations, bringing hope and tranquility to mankind. Every lifetime opportunity that you lost, I stand in my office as God's oracle. I declare you will recover. Reverend Lucy Natasha, a voice of destiny, a prophetic voice to this generation with a high frequency of God's power and anointing. I hear the Lord say there are people that are here today. There are those that have been having, a, that have been experiencing problems in their workplace. There are those that have been experiencing problems in their businesses. Those that have been experiencing problems in their families and in their marriages. Those that have, uh, those that have, uh, those that have been trusting God for settlement, for employment. Those that have been going through stagnation. I hear the Lord say today is a new day for you. There is somebody here that has been trusting God for a divine breakthrough. A financial breakthrough. The Lord is intervening on your behalf. Somebody that has been trusting God for the fruit of the womb. The Lord is intervening in your behalf. Somebody that has been feeling hopeless and helpless. The Lord is intervening on your behalf. Rabba Kadosh Karaba Handi. As you are lifting your hands as a sign of surrender. I declare through this service, yes. you will be lifted to divine heights. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. I declare your enemies will flee before you in seven ways. Amen. I declare the works of your hands will be blessed. Amen. I declare in the name of Jesus, you shall not be ashamed. Amen. You shall not be mocked. Amen. You shall not be oppressed. Amen. You shall not be suppressed. Amen. But I declare from today, you shall be great. Amen. You shall be elevated. Amen. You shall be fruitful. Amen. You shall be victorious. Amen. You shall be highly favored. Amen. You will testify of the glory of God. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, shout amen. amen. Somebody lift up your hand and pray this prayer point. Say any evil connection. Any evil connection. I disconnect myself. I disconnect myself. Come on, say any evil connection. Any evil connection. I disconnect myself. I disconnect disconnect myself in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus wrong connections and wrong associations will kill your dream wrong associations will kill your vision wrong associations will kill your faith in God hallelujah there are people that are in prison today because they met the wrong people they are people today that are HIV positive because they met the wrong people they are women today that are single mothers because they met the wrong people they are people that are bankrupt today because because they met the wrong people. Are you listening to me? There are people that their businesses have gone down because they met the wrong people. There are people that today would have been great men and women, but they are nothing today because they met wrong people. And one prayer I am praying is that in the next half of this year, you will be able to discern the people that are coming into your life. Amen. When God wants to bless you, he will send a person. But when the devil wants to destroy you, he will also send a person and I pray for miracle Monday family yes. and everybody that is here and everybody that is watching me mm. that God will disconnect you from every evil connection Amen. and God will connect you to the right people Amen. people that will add value to your life people that will improve your life Amen. people that will add significance to your life yes. people that will help you reach your goals and your dreams yes. people that will help you accomplish that which God has called you to do in the remaining half of this year. Amen. Tell your neighbor, neighbor. Neighbor. Say neighbor. Neighbor. Design, 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 design. Design, design. So in the next half of this year, don't invite everybody into your life. 
Are you listening to me? I've said this before and I'll tell you again. The Bible has told you to love your neighbor. That means love is a must, but relationship is by choice. I can love you, but I don't have to make you my friend. Mm -hmm. hey, look hey. at your neighbor. Tell them neighbor. Neighbor. Love is a must. Love is a must. But relationship is by choice. But relationship is by choice. And also, don't, uh, don't be afraid of letting go toxic people. Hallelujah. When toxic people live your life, toxic things stop happening. Uh -huh. When wrong people live your life, wrong things stop to happen. And when right people come into your life, right things begin to happen. So anybody in your life that is not a, a blessing, that is a burden. Anybody that is a waster and not an investor. In this next half of the year, yes. let them go. Mm. Tell them, tell your neighbor, let them go. Let them go. Let them go. Let them go. Hallelujah. Don't be scared to kiss people goodbye. Hallelujah. Sometimes you need, there are people you need to release so that God can bring the right people. Mm. As wrong people live your life, right people are coming into your life. Amen. Are you listening to me? Yes. So I want you to be discerning. I was sharing deeply on that in Tanzania. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, you will be able to watch these powerful messages that will transform your life. Please be very careful. Remember you must do the possible so that God can do the impossible. But the problem with believers in our days, they want God to do the possible and the impossible. So if you want to reach your destiny in the next half, please don't invite everybody into your life. Love everybody, but don't walk with people that are not going your direction. Tell your neighbor, don't walk with people that are not going your direction. Don't walk with people that are not going your direction. The people in, in your life, they either increase you, decrease you, or neutralize you. The people in your life are either a help or a hindrance. The people in your life, they either develop you or drain you. They either exalt you or exhaust you. Hallelujah. So don't make everybody your friend. Tell your neighbor, I love you. I love you. But that doesn't mean I have to make you my friend. Yeah. Hey, tell your neighbor, neighbor. Neighbor. Just because we have history. Just because we have Doesn't history. mean we have destiny. Nahum chapter 1 and verse 9. Nahum chapter 1 and verse 9. What? Do you conspire against the Lord? He will make an utter end of it. Affliction will not rise a second time. Lift up your hands above your head. Father, move by your spirit and by your power. Lord, you gave me this prophetic word. And you told me, Jehovah, that affliction will not rise a second time. Yes. Speak to your people in the language they will understand. Shalabaka dos deshka. Lizo Magadesh Karabahande Ligados Karabahande. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, shout amen. amen. I want you to look at three people prophetically and tell them affliction will not rise a second time. Affliction will not rise a second time. Ebu sasa mwambie kwa Kiswahili mwambie mateso hayata inuka mara ya pili. Mateso hayata inuka mara ya pili. Eh hey, tafuta watu wawili waambie mateso affliction. Mateso affliction. will not rise a second time. Will not rise a second time. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord spoke to me with clarity. There are men and women that are seated here. There are things that you went through in the first half. And some of you, as I was praying, I saw you went through uncertain times in the first half of the year. Some of you went through uh, difficult times. Some of you were in the valleys and in the mountains. And the beginning of this year and the first half was difficult for most of us. And now we are getting into the next half, which we have already started with this month of July. And some of you are wondering, how shall things be in the next half of the year? The Lord sent me with a prophetic word. The Lord sent me with a word, a rema word for somebody, an on time word for somebody. That whatever you went through in the first half, it will not follow you in the second half in the name of Jesus. Amen. If you suffered failure in the first half, you will not experience failure in the second half. Amen. If you are sick in the first half, 
Yes. You will not be sick in the second half. Amen. If you were struggling financially in the first half. Yes. You will not struggle financially in the second half. Amen. If you were jobless in the first half. Yes. I speak as an oracle. Yes, oracle. God is giving you a high paying job. I receive it. I say God is giving you a high paying job. I receive it. If nothing was moving or working in your business in the first half. Mm. I declare in this second half. Yes. God will give give you clients yes your goods and services will be in high demand oh yes i said your goods and services will be in high demand i receive it. if doors were shut against you in the first half mm. i declare in this second half yes your doors will be open amen i see you going where you have never gone before oh yes i see you entering places you have never entered before I see you achieving what you have not achieved before. I, I hear the Lord say to somebody, yes. affliction will not rise a second time. Amen. Greet your neighbor, tell them affliction will not rise a second time. Affliction will not rise a second time. Oh, Rabakadoshka, Rabakadeshke. Lizo Magadeshka, lift up your hand and say three times. Affliction will not rise a second time. Coming up next prophetic moment with the oracle of God the Lord is telling me to specifically speak to somebody you are here today and the first half was difficult for you can I prophesy? Prophesy. This is what we call prophetic interruption. Somebody yes. say amen. Amen. I hear the Lord say, in the first half, you cried tears. In the first half, oh, Rabbi Kadoshka, I see this woman in the realm of the spirit. And the first half was difficult for you. I am seeing like a court case. I'm seeing like a court case. And it has not been easy for you. I'm seeing like a court case. And I'm asking the Lord, who is this woman? And I'm hearing like a name, Lois. The Lord is telling me to pray for you even as I continue to preach. Your name is Lois. I'm seeing like a court case. The Lord is telling me, come to the altar. Come to the altar. I want to pray for you. Hallelujah. The Lord is, uh, the Lord is dealing with your case right now. Affliction will not rise a second time. You know, Mikonoyako, you say, Mama Teso. Come on, let the devils hear you and let the heavens witness. Say, Mama Teso. Ma teso. Say, Mama Teso. Ma teso. Hayata inuka mara ya pili. Hayata inuka mara ya pili. Come on, say, Affliction. Affliction. Will not rise a second time. Will not rise a second time. Stretch your hands towards this woman. I just saw you in the realm of the spirit. Oh, Rabakadoshka, Rabakadoshke. Just stand here, stand here on the altar. I want to anoint you and pray for you. Stretch your hands towards her. I saw her in the realm of the spirit. And I saw, just face this way, face me this way. I want to anoint you. I saw like a court case. And through this court case, they are even threatening to take your life. They are threatening to take your life. Can you just stretch your hands towards her? But I am declaring that every conspiracy against her life. Oh, yes. I say every conspiracy. Oh, yes. The Lord is canceling it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Any conspiracy against your life. Oh, yes. I cancel it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Any plan of the devil, any plot of the devil, yes. any scheme of the devil yes. against your life and destiny. Yes. I cancel it in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Amen. I declare no weapon fashioned against us and our families. Oh, yes. They shall be able to prosper. Amen. I declare as the devil comes in one direction, yes. he shall be scattered in seven directions. Amen. I decree and declare. Oh, yes. Rabba Kadoshka Rabba Hande. Hey. If God is for us, yes. who can be against us? Oh, yes. Stretch your hands. The Lord tells me, what is your name? I'm Rose. Your name is Lois. Rose. Rose. Your name is Rose. Yes. All right. Stretch your hands towards her. But I'm also hearing. You're, do you have a court case? Yes, I do. You have a court case? Yes. Stretch your hands towards her. Also, I am seeing in the spirit. There is somebody else. Also, you have a court case. She's crying. God is going to fight your battles. God is going to fight your battle. 
Somebody say affliction will not rise a second time. Affliction will not rise a second time. Stretch your hands towards her. I'm also seeing another court case. And if you're here and you have a court case, also connect to this. Any court case I am declaring in the next half of this year. Oh yes. It shall be won in your favor in the name of Jesus. I receive. That prolonged battle is coming to an end in the name of Jesus. I receive. I'm hearing Lois. This one is Rose, but I'm also hearing Lois. Also come if you're there. Stretch your hands towards her as I begin to pray for her. Lois, I'm hearing also Lois. Lois, Lois, also come. She's Rose. I will pray for her. So what is your court case about? Supply I did sometimes back. Mm -hmm. I'm in supply business. Mm -hmm. I worked for a certain Indian and uh, an Indian company, a construction company. Um, they were supposed to pay me 3.2 million shillings. It has been there. Okay, I went through the course, uh, the due process of the court. The case went down, not in my favor. We forgot to attach the delivery notes together with the invoices. So the case was so good until that moment of determining the, the amount. Went, we went through a review. It also again did not come through for me. I'm left with uh, only one option, which is appeal. But of this time, I've been feeling like even forgetting about it. Stretch your hand. We serve a God of the 11th hour. Yes. The Lord is saying he's intervening. On this very altar, yes. you will stand to testify. Amen. How many know that we serve a God of the 11th hour? Oh, yes. I said, how many people know that we serve a God of the 11th we hour? We know. Oh, a God that turns impossibilities to possibilities. Yes. Stretch your hands towards her. And anyone that is here. Oh, Shalabakadoska. And you feel hopeless and helpless. I serve a God of the 11th hour. A God that can turn impossibilities to possibilities. Mungu ananiambia ni kwambie. Mwisho wako ndiyo mwanzo wabwana. Na kilio chako kinafika mwisho. And God is not just going to restore that. God is going to restore. You have lost so much in your life. God is going to restore everything that concerns you. God is going to fight your battles. He's going to prepare a table for you in the presence of your adversaries. And I stand as an oracle. Affliction will not rise a second time. Rose affliction will not rise rise and a second time and in the area of finances the devil has fought her somebody look at your hands i declare in this next half yes whatever god has ordained for you yes nobody will take it from you in the name of jesus amen i said whatever god has ordained for you yes nobody will take it in the name of jesus amen Look at your hands. Somebody say every financial hindrance. Every financial hindrance. Catch fire. Catch fire. Somebody say financial hindrances. Financial hindrances. Catch fire. Catch fire. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Somebody say I declare. I declare. The works of my hands. The works of my hands. Are blessed in the name of Jesus. Are blessed in the name of Jesus. Stretch your hands towards her. The Lord is going to intervene. The God of the 11th hour. He's fighting your battles. I declare the beginning of a new season. And I speak to you as an oracle. Tears of sorrow shall not drop from your eyes. You will only cry tears of fulfillment. The Lord says, I have seen your tears. The Lord says, I have heard your cry. The Lord says, I will liberate you and make you shine. The Lord is changing your story. It shall be well with you. In Jesus' name. Amen. I also saw another woman and I had Lois. What is your name? Lois. Lois. Hallelujah. Can you stretch your heads towards her? Do you have a court case? Ukona, 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 kesi kotini. Unailoa luga gani? Kiswahili. Acha ni kuongeleshe kiswahili. Sema amen. Ebu mnyoshe mikono hapa kwenye madhabahu. Ukona, kesi kotini. Amen. Mnyoshe mikono. Mungu anaenda kukupigania. Amen. Because naona umeteseka, umehangaika na kesi yako nikiangalia kwenye anga ya kiroho naona ni kesi inayohusiana na maswala ya shamba. 
shamba shamba kweli si kweli ni kweli sema fire fire oracle nikiangalia kwenye anga ya kiroho kesi kesi ya huyu mama ni tofauti na kesi yako because nimeona wanajaribu kukudhulumu shamba wanajaribu kukunyang'anya shamba na hii ni vita pia ambayo umepigana kwa muda mrefu lakini roho wa bwana ananiambia vita hivi vya muda mrefu vinaenda kufika mwisho na nikiangalia hiyo shamba kwenye anga ya kiroho shala bakadoska can i prophesy prophesy the lord is taking me to a place Shala makadoska. Yaani nikiangalia hiyo shamba kwenye anga ya kiroho, ninaiona ni kama kia Michael. Shamba yako hiyo unayopiga inayopiganwa vita iko wapi? Kia Michael. Kia Michael sema fire! Fire! Oracle prophesy. Mungu ameniambia hebu mnyoshe mikono kwenye madhabahu. Mungu ananiambia nikwambie, dogo tunywe mogodoshio. Mungu atakupigania. Nasema Mungu atakupigania. Amen. Na nimeona una kesi mbili. Nikikuangalia kwenye anga ya kiroho. Kesi yako, hebu simama tu hapa mama, simama tu hapa. Acha nikuombe nikupake mafuta. Siku zako zijazo. Your latter days will be greater. Pastor Lucas come and interpret for me. Unajua <laughs> Kiswahili kuna pale inaishanga, sema fire. fire. <laughs> <laughs> hey the lord says you are lack of days mungu anasema siku zako za usoni they will be better zitakuwa bora god will wipe away your tears mungu atafuta machozi yako yote hallelujah amen stretch your hands towards this lady god is going to remember you god will remember you pastor lucas not yet until i finish with her hallelujah shala bakadoska God is going to remember you. Mungu atakukumbuka. I see this land it is like they want to take it from you. Naona katika hii shamba naona kwa ulimwengu wa kiroho ni kama wanataka kukunyang'anya. And I'm also seeing another land. Na vile vile naona shamba nyingine. And you are already in court as we are talking. Na uko kotini kwa ajili yake hata wakati huu tunaongea. I see it is like there is another land. Naona kana kama kuna shamba nyingine. And all these two lands I'm seeing them in Nairobi. Na haya mashamba mawili naona yako hapa Nairobi. One I'm seeing it in Kiamaiko. Mmoja naiona iko Kiamaiko. Then another one I'm seeing it in South B. Hiyo ingine naiona iko South B. Where is your other land? Yeah, Iko wapi? South B. Fire! 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 Mm. Oracle. And they have been even threatening you. Na hata wamekuwa kikutishia. Kweli si kweli? Ni kweli. Wamekutishia. Eh. Hebu mnyoshe huyu mama mikono. Mungu anakukumbuka na watoto wako. The Lord is remembering you and your children. Mungu anakukumbuka pamoja na watoto wako wote. And affliction will not rise a second time. Na mateso hayatainuka mara ya pili. Your latter days will be greater. Siku zako za usoni zitakuwa kuu zaidi. I am seeing two children. Naona watoto wawili. I am seeing two children. Naona watoto wawili. How many children do you have? Uko na wangapi? Watano. Watano. But there are two children in particular that God is telling me to pray for. Naona watoto wawili ambao Mungu ananiambia niwaombe. Do you know somebody? Unajua mtu? By the name of Milka. Kwa jina Milka. Do you know Milka? Eh mtoto wangu. Milka ni nani? Can I prophesy? Prophesy. Among us your children. Katikati ya watoto wako. I am seeing John, John, John. Naona John, John, John. Who is John? Ni mtoto wangu. Can I prophesy? Prophesy. Among us your children. Katikati ya watoto wako. Who is Irongo? Irongo ni nani? Ni mtoto huyo wangu John. Can I prophesy? Prophesy. The Lord is remembering you. Mungu anakukumbuka. As I anoint you mama. Napokupitia mafuta mama. I declare. Natangaza. I declare. Natangaza. I'm going to give you oil that you will go and anoint those two lands. Nitakupatia mafuta ambayo utaenda utie mafuta katika hayo mashamba mawili. And I declare nobody will take this land from you. Na ninatangaza hakuna yeyote atayekunyang'anya haya mashamba. If I be a woman of God. Ikiwa mimi ni mtumishi wa Bwana. The Lord will fight for you. Mungu atakupigania. 
They seem like they are bigger than you. Inaonekana kama ni wakuku kuliko. Because they have gathered against you. Kwa sababu wameinuka kinyume na wewe. But he that is in you. Lakini aliye ndani yako. Is greater. Ni mkuu. Than he that is in the world. Kuliko yule aliye ulimwenguni. God is fighting your battles. Mungu anapigana vita zako. God is wiping your tears. Mungu anafuta machozi yako. God is changing your children. Mungu anabadilisha watoto wako. The Bible says. Biblia inasema for us and our children. Sisi na watoto wetu. We are for signs and wonders. Ni waishara na maajabu. The Lord will satisfy you with long life. Mungu atakupatia maisha marefu. As your days are so shall your strength be. Vile ambavyo ulivyo nguvu yako itakuwa vivyo hivyo. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. I bless your life. Na bariki maisha yako. In Jesus name. Katika jina la Yesu. Give her the oil of no more delay and divine acceleration. Go and put it on on that land. Everybody lift up. Hayo mafuta unapata waende upake hayo hiyo shamba hizo vipande viwili vya shamba go and anoint that land ndio tangaza mama natangaza ukombozi wa hiyo ardhi ninatangaza ukombozi wa hiyo ardhi amen she's in tears ninatangaza ukombozi wa hiyo ardhi amen kama vile Mungu aishie hiyo hizo sh shamba hautanyanganywa na pale kotini Mungu atakupigania Mungu amekutangulia Sema amen. Gayakura adime. Pigia Yesu makofi. Hey Lord, it's Jesus. Ebu punga mkono sema affliction will not rise a second time. Affliction will not rise a second time. The Lord is telling me to pray for a man. And the Lord is saying this next half of the year. Your name is Shadrach. If you're here and your name is Shadrach, come to the altar. The Lord is saying the next half of this year. It shall be greater and better for you. Affliction will not rise a second time. Amen. Stretch your hands to the altar. Shadrach, Shadrach. I hear Shadrach. This next half of the year, God will change your story. God will change your life. Somebody say amen. Amen. Lift up your hands. I want to pray for you. I am hearing Shadrach. Do you know Ochieng? Ochieng. Yes, my name. Your name. Yes. What, what are your names? Shadrach Ochieng. Professor, professor, oracle of God, professor, prophecy. Stretch your hands. Hey, somebody say fire! Fire! As I look at you in the realm of the spirit, the Lord is telling me affliction will not rise a second time. The first half of the year, you went through some trying times, but the Lord says in the next half of the year, God is connecting you to your destiny. Help us. God is going to settle you and establish you. Oh, Razoya Kadosh Karabahandi. And in your family, God has chosen you as the deliverer. What others have not achieved and attained, you are going to be the way maker in your family. And remember, a prophecy to one is a prophecy to all. Oh, Tell yes. your neighbor, you are the way maker in your family. I am the way maker in my family. Can I prophesy? Prophesy. You are the way maker in your family. That house that nobody has ever built in your family, you will be the first to build in the name of Jesus. I receive it. Yeah, that business that nobody and that company that nobody has ever established. Yes. I declare you will be the first in the name of Jesus. I receive it. Academically, what others have never attained. Yes. You will be the first to attain it. I receive it. Yeah. Hey. If marriages have never worked in your family, you yes. will be the first to work. Oh, yes. Hey, Shalabakadoska. Wave your hand and say, I am a way maker in my family. I am a way maker in Come my on, family. what you confess is what you possess. Say, I am the deliverer of my family. I am the deliverer of my family. I am the redeemer of my family. I am the redeemer of my family. As I look at you, the Lord says, even salvation, it is going to come through you through you the salvation of your family because where god has saved one he's able to save all and i prophesy to everybody under the sound of my voice yes in this next half if you have brothers and sisters that are not born again yes. they will know christ through you amen if you have a, a child children that are not born again yes. they will know christ through you amen if you have a husband that is not born again yes. he will know christ through you oh, yes. in this next half open your mouth and speak salvation for 10 seconds Declare salvation to your family members that are not born again. Your children, our sons and daughters will be born again. Our husbands will be born again. Our wives will be born again. Our brothers and sisters will be born again. For us and our family, we shall serve the Lord. In the name of Jesus. God is going to settle you. 
And as God settles you, I see he's also remembering your family. And even in your family, God is remembering your sisters. Do you know somebody called Mary? Yes. Who is Mary? My elder sister. Can I prophesy? Prophesy. As God is remembering you. Because what God is doing in this next half, he's not just remembering you, he's remembering you and your family. Amen. I said God is remembering you and your family. Amen. As God is bringing you out of stagnation, yes. he's bringing you out and all the fam on all your family members in the name of Jesus. Amen. Do you know Rose? Rose. Yes, my sister. Your prophesy. sister. Can I prophesy? Prophesy. Stretch your hands towards him. The Lord is opening new doors. The Lord will prosper you. You will be a great man. When I look at you in the realm of the spirit, you will be a great man. You will walk in the corridors of power. Amen. The Lord is preparing you. Yes. Everything that you are going through now mm. is orchestrating your next season of life. Amen. Stretch your hands. I bless you. Amen. As I anoint you, Shalabakadoska, I decree and declare go and prosper Amen. go and prosper Amen. any adversary against your open doors let that adversary be destroyed Amen. in jesus name i am seeing a woman in a hospital and i'm asking the lord why am i seeing this woman in a hospital and the lord says uh, you have been admitted in hospital before but the lord says in the next half affliction will not rise a second time and I'm hearing a name like Harriet. Harriet, I need to pray for you. Mm. Every spirit of sickness and disease, we cancel it in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will not go to an early grave. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Lift your hand and say, I declare. Somebody say, I declare. Uh, affliction, affliction will not rise a second time. Will not rise a second time. Stand there. Affliction will not rise a second time. Oh, stand. Let us stand here. Oh, Shalaba, as I anoint you. I declare none of you as I'm praying for her. Yes. You will never be hospitalized. She is in tears. The Lord is wiping away your tears. Amen. The Lord is remembering you. Amen. Every sickness and disease, the Lord says it will not rise a second time. Amen. Yes. It will not rise a second time. Amen. It will not rise a second time. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Just, re just release her. Stretch your hands towards her. The Lord says he's opening a new chapter in your life. The Lord says this next half and this next chapter of your life. The Lord will satisfy you with long life. Your latter days will be greater. The Lord is fighting your battles. Amen. He's going to level every mountain and lift every valley. Amen. At what stage were you hospitalized? It was last week, but last two weeks back. Two weeks back. Yeah, I was hospitalized. Uh, uh, I've been in a nursing home mm -hmm. for four days. And I think even one of my pastor can confirm. I've seen him somewhere. Here. Uh -huh. They came even to visit my me. My God. Me here. That is two weeks ago. Yes. Oh, can you stretch your hands towards her? I don't even know her. But the Lord told me every spirit of sickness and infirmity. Oh, yes. yes. It is destroyed in the name of Jesus. Amen. We cannot die by sickness. Yes. We cannot die by evil arrow. Yes. We cannot die by witchcraft. Oh, yes. Every plan, every plot, every scheme of the devil. I cancel it in the name of Jesus. Amen. I cancel it in the name of Jesus. Yes. I cancel it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every arrow fired against your destiny. Yes. I cancel it in the name of Jesus. The Lord says he's on your side. And no weapon fashioned against you shall prosper. The Lord says he's restoring your health. The Lord says he's restoring everything that concerns you. I hear even your marriage. The Lord is going to restore. Amen. Hey, can I prophesy? Prophesy. Can I prophesy? Prophesy. The Lord says he's not over until God says he's over. Oh, yes. Oh, stretch your hands towards her. Stretch your hands towards her. Rabba Kadoshka, Rabba Kadoshka. Shalama Kadoshka, Rabba Kadeshka, Rabba Kadoshka. Shalama, speak a word, speak a word, speak a word. Somebody declare affliction will not rise a second time. 
Affliction will not rise a second time. Yes. The Lord says it's not over. Until God says it is over. The Lord says where people have put a full stop. That is where he's going to begin a new sentence. The Lord will turn your mockery to victory. The Lord will silence the mouth of your enemies. Yes. Oh, Shalabakadoska. Somebody say, Lord. Lord. Prepare a table for me. Prepare a table for me. In the presence of my enemies. In the presence of my enemies. Even the works of your hands. The Lord is opening international doors. Let me anoint your hands. Hold this for her. Stretch your hands towards her. The grace I have carried around the nations of the world. Yes. That same grace. I see international connections. I see international connections. Yes. I see international connections. I see. Then as I am praying for you, I don't know why I'm seeing like precious stones falling into your hands. What is the meaning of this? I am seeing like precious stones falling into your hands. What connect? What is this? You the gemstones. You deal with gems. Hey. Can Put I prophesy? Prophesy. As I was putting the oil on her hands, mm. I began to see in the realm of the spirit. It is like precious stones were falling. The Lord says He has anointed you, even in business. You know the Bible says, "Occupy till I come," which means do business till I come. I release the anointing for business. I receive. I release the anointing to prosper. I receive it. The Lord will bless you. This is the area that God has called you. And in this area, though God will give you multiple streams of income, this is one of the avenues that God will use to catapult you to the next level. And I declare you will not meet the wrong people. You will not meet the wrong people. Amen. You will meet the right business partners. Amen. May God give you strategic alliances and partnerships. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. And to every businessman and businesswoman here, lift up your hands. Every man and woman in the corporate world, I declare you will not meet the wrong people. Yes. May God give you strategic alliances. Amen. Yes. May God give you strategic partnerships. Oh, yes. I bless your life. Oh, yes. I bless your life. Yes. I bless your life. I receive. You will not suffer losses. Amen. Anything that is pushing your finances to bankruptcy. Yes. I command it catch fire. Catch fire. I decree and declare yes major financial breakthroughs i receive it. major financial breakthroughs yes in this next half of the year yes major financial breakthroughs i receive i release supernatural debt cancellation I receive. receive the miracle of supernatural debt cancellation I receive. your debts will be supernaturally cancelled oh, yes in the name of jesus, jesus. your bills will be paid amen i said your bills will be paid amen the Lord is giving you a new chapter. He's opening a new chapter. And on this very altar, you will testify the doings of God. The next half of this year is a defining moment for your life. God is going to catapult you to the next level. Your star will shine. Everything that you lost, you will recover sevenfold. Oh, Shalabahan. Amen. Somebody say, I will recover all. I will recover all. Come on, lift your hand. Say, I will recover all. I will recover all. As a prophet of God, I bless your life. Every negative pronouncement against your life, yes. I reverse it in the name of Jesus. I declare the next half is your ear for health and wholeness and the rest of your life. I declare you we shall live and not die to declare the works of the Lord in the land of the living. With long life, the Lord will satisfy you and show you his salvation. I declare you are blessed. I declare you are favored. I declare you are lifted. The hand of God is upon you. Go and succeed in Jesus. Put your hands together for Jesus. Hey, Somebody. Can you touch your neighbor? Tell them affliction. Affliction will not rise a second time. Will not rise a second Everybody time. Everybody lift up your hands above your head. Father, you spoke to my heart. And you told me to come and tell me, recommended family. 
and the thousands of people that are watching us from around the world on Oracle One TV, on Facebook, and, and on YouTube. That affliction will not rise a second time. That what we went through in the first half of the year, it will not be repeated. You told me repeated problems are coming to an end. Repeated sicknesses, repeated generational curses and generational altars. You told me repeated problems are coming to an end. Amen. I declare a new beginning yes. over every man and woman under the sound of my voice. Somebody say a new beginning. A new beginning. A new beginning. I speak a new beginning in your life. A new beginning in your finances. A new beginning in your business. A new beginning in your career. A new beginning in your walk with God. A new beginning in your prayer life. A new beginning in every aspect of your life. Oh, yes. Receive a new beginning. Receive a new beginning. Receive a new beginning. Receive. Anything that has been stealing your joy. For the first half of this year, whatever was stealing your joy, yes. I silence it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Whatever was stealing your joy, yes. I silence it in the name of Jesus. Amen. I release the joy of God. I receive. I release the peace of God. I receive. Peace in your heart. Amen. Peace in your mind. I receive. Peace in your spirit. I receive. I receive it. Shabakadoska. I receive it. Oh. A new beginning. A new beginning. Tell your neighbor a new beginning. A new beginning. Hallelujah. If you're there, you are a tither, you need an envelope, lift up your hands. And also there are two ways you can give. You can either give through that envelope. There is also an Mpesa number on screen, our ministry Mpesa line. That is 0710 84 21 21. It will be on screen very shortly. And even those that are watching us live from around the world, you can either give your tithe, your partnership on Mpesa through the platform of Wave, World Remit, Simba Pay, or you can use our PayPal link. Remember, your tithe is the connection to the protection of your finances. Your tithe is what opens the windows of heaven. Your tithe is what rebukes the devourer. The devourers are eaters of finances. Your tithe is what rebukes the devourer. It is your tithe that makes God a shareholder of whatever you do. If you are in business, your tithe is what makes God a shareholder. Anytime you give your 10%, God releases a blessing on the 90%. Hallelujah. Your tithe is powerful. It rebukes barrenness. It rebukes stagnation. And the tithers of this ministry are the pillars of this ministry. T partners are people that give a specific amount that God has laid in their heart to support the work of God that we are doing because the gospel is free but the means of taking it is expensive. We are a ministry with a global vision and the partners of this ministry they help us and enable us financially to serve God's purpose for this generation. You can partner with whatever God has laid in your heart and we bless God for all the partners. Even Jesus in his earthly ministry if you read Luke chapter 8 verse 1 to verse 3 you will see Suzanne Joanna and Mary Magdalene three women that use their wealth to support the ministry of Jesus because though the gospel is free the means of taking it is expensive it takes millions to preach the gospel and that is why I have a burden in my heart to pray that in our generation God will raise kingdom millionaires kingdom billionaires Actually